Hello, welcome back to Tail 3 Cabins in an RV. This is RV and for the rest of us. And today I want to discuss a little bit about rear cameras. The RV we purchased has wiring, is supposedly pre-wired and has a mounting bracket in the rear for a rear camera. And the brand that was discussed was Furion. And on the bracket it says Furion. And if you look up a Furion rear camera, it's supposed to be pretty easy to install. But the cameras are around five to six hundred dollars. So RVN for the rest of us, I'm going to see if we can install a camera that's going to do pretty much the same job for around one hundred twenty dollars. So I purchased this Rohent camera and it's going to mount on the back bracket, supposedly that's existing there with the existing wires. It's going to come with a screen that's going to go inside my truck so I can watch the rear of the vehicle. So let's see how easy this is to install and if it's going to save us a couple hundred dollars in the process. All right, so if I open the box, this is a Rohent R7 DVR digital wireless backup camera. This will be the screen that goes inside the vehicle. Here is the camera itself, which will mount on the rear of the RV. I assume this is for mounting the screen inside the vehicle. We have some wiring, power for the DC jack inside the vehicle and some brackets. So one of the first things they want you to do is make sure that you can pair the device together and you need to power both devices. So it comes with this little adapter that you can merge the wires between the camera and the seven inch screen and then use the single power supply to run both. Now once you have your wires merged onto that adapter, you can test it out. And if everything is working, you can see the camera on the screen. You are good to go. And you can really discard that adapter and those wire ends because they just plug in. I have my 12 volt power station back there and I have it plugged in to simulate being plugged into my vehicle. The screen really booted up in seconds and you can see the camera's working. Now the signal being sent from the camera to the 7 inch screen is wireless. You don't need any wires in between to get your video signal. One concern with many of these cameras is does it have enough signal strength to go from the back of your trailer to the front of your truck. Everything's working here but now let's go install it. There's just four Phillips screws that you can see that takes off this plate. Not sure if you can see, but once the plate's off, you can see the wire in there. Well, there's a little adapter that they show in the Amazon page in one of the pictures that this is probably for a Furion camera. And then there's a small little dongle that hooks into here and then adapts to the camera from Rohent, but I could not find that in the, inside the packaging anywhere. So I sent them an email and I thought, well, maybe I'll put the camera up for now in the time being and maybe I'll get this little adapter in the meantime. I mean, I could splice these wires and um, make it work, but if there's an adapter, I want to use it. I want to make it more weather tight. So I don't want to be splicing wires and trying to reseal in them. And then I was going to put the camera up here just temporarily. Well, the mount that the camera came with does not fit on here either. And I believe they omitted an adapter similar to this that would be fitting on the back of the camera. So I sent them two emails, one first about that cable, and then I replied back to the same email I sent and asked about this too, sent them a picture, showed it how it looks on their Amazon page, and we'll see what happens. But for now, I'm gonna put everything back and sit tight.
Okay, so I contacted the company through Amazon, gave them an email, I even showed them a picture of what was missing. They got back to me the next day, said they would ship it out, and about five days later I got it. So here is the adapter to work with what's already pre-wired into my RV. And then here is the adapter plate so I can mount the camera back there. So let's finish this up and uh, we're kind of on a tight schedule now because we got a about an 1800 mile road trip that we're leaving on tomorrow so hopefully we can get this up and running and have no issues. So here I'm taking the actual camera bracket and mounting it onto the special bracket that's going to adapt to the Furion connection. Probably the hardest thing was getting this rubber grommet through the small hole that's supposed to keep the wire weather tight. Go between adapter between the camera and the existing wiring on the trailer works perfectly. I'm just trying to shove a little bit of the excess wire back into the hole that it comes out of the trailer. Okay. Looks pretty weather tight the seal here and around here. The only thing is up here. I think I'm going to need to put a dab of silicone up here just to make sure nothing flies back into here. This camera comes with a bracket or it was supposed to come with a bracket. Eventually say send it to me. But I've seen other people that have taken this bracket, drilled a hole in here for the wire for the camera and just modified this plate that comes with our RV to mount the camera right to this plate. Now this particular camera has the ability to expand and you could add up to three more cameras making a total of four different views. And it comes with hardware that you could use to tie into certain power areas, most of the time like a trailer light. I'm just going to set it for the time being in a cubby on the top of my dashboard and I really don't want to permanently mount it anywhere. I'm thinking maybe in the future if I could find straps, I could just mount it to my rear view mirror as I'm not going to be able to use the rear view mirror when we have the trailer hooked up anyways. You also have the ability to add SD card to this and it will constantly record as you're going down the road. I had an old one laying around and just threw it in here and it was kind of a mistake on my part and I'll just discuss that in a little bit. So we left on our 1800 mile road trip and during that 12 days it worked perfectly. It did everything that I needed it to do and I'm glad that I installed it. Now it comes with brackets that you can mount onto your dashboard and I really just didn't want to do something that permanent for when we're only going to use it on long trips. So I'm still up in the air on just exactly the best place to mount this. Okay, now if you're planning on using this to strictly record onto an SD card, I made a little error in judgment here. And I used one of the old SD cards I had laying around. It was probably so old that it wasn't capable of keeping up with 1080p streaming video directly onto the card. So I can't show you that aspect of it. Now you can add up to three more cameras, so you could have a total of four cameras. It does come with other means of hooking into the power of your RV or whatever you want to do, maybe your vehicle. Um, it does come with special clips that if you want to hook it into a running light or a trailer light, you can tap into there for power and get different sides of your RV or if you're going to put it in your regular vehicle, a truck or whatever. A few things just to mention from my point of view is it worked out great for us traveling. I didn't have a passenger side mirror when we were towing this trailer. So the camera worked great showing us what was behind us and if anybody was coming up on that blind side for us. It was good for backing, but I would not substitute this camera for a person being back here. Maybe use it in conjunction with a person, but I would not totally rely on this camera when you're backing up something as large as this trailer and other trailers. Still, still try to use that human factor, have somebody spot you when you're backing up. So other than just a few hiccups, you know, the missing parts, a little delay in getting that set up. The camera 
worked great for us and I'm uh, glad I bought it. $120 versus $600. I can't argue there. It comes with a two year warranty. Hopefully I won't need to use it. But that's my experience with installing this. I hope this helps you out if you decide you want to do something similar with your RV. Otherwise, I appreciate everybody watching. Hope you enjoy and subscribe and keep an eye on us. Take care, everybody.